a walk through the river valley with a close friend. For Heidi Jans, that's as good a miracle as any. Heidi has cerebral palsy, a condition affecting her nervous system. She can't walk, feed herself, or get dressed on her own. Her speech is also limited. But Heidi still has a sense of humor. And a PhD. Redefining disability is at the heart of Heidi's story. We've chosen to share it with the help of an echo, Heidi's friend Janelle Birch. The words you are hearing are Heidi's words, written responses to our questions, read by Janelle. Strangers talk to me like I'm two because they've made assumptions about my mental abilities based on their observation of my physical disabilities and then seen their reaction when they're introduced to me as Dr. Jantz. That's always fun. Heidi was one of the first individuals with a severe disability to ever earn a PhD. She is a researcher and professor at the University of Alberta. Her field, disability ethics, looking at how individuals and society view others like her. I should be able to acknowledge the fact that I am disabled without fear that my life will be devalued by others. Sadly, this is often not the case in our society. In a way, Heidi's academic work is also a work of art. She is an award-winning playwright whose work puts the spotlight on what it's like to live with a disability. When people go to a theater to see a play, they generally come with a certain willingness to suspend the default sense of skepticism. This lowers their defenses and makes people open to viewing and responding to characters with disabilities in ways that may be very different from how they view and respond to actual people who have disabilities. Heidi has written four plays. Her work is always popular at the Edmonton Fringe Festival. Right now, she is expanding her play, The Book of Job's, into two acts. The central theme of this play is the fact that there will be times for all of us when life does not make any logical sense. Bad things happen, and we won't always understand why. Some of the inspiration behind this play can be found, unfortunately, in a victim impact statement. In January 2008, a man broke into Heidi's home. He stabbed her three times, and she slowly slipped out of consciousness. In those moments, there was not a shadow of doubt in my mind that I was minutes away from entering glory and being in the presence of the Lord, where there would be no more pain and no more struggles. The attacker continued to stab her with the intent to kill. Then an unexplained bright light shone in the man's eyes, and he ran. As strange as this may sound for me, life in the weeks and months after the attack was in many ways more difficult for me than the attack itself. I began having thoughts like, I was just minding my own business, trying my best to use what God had given me, trying to care for my family and friends, and now all this drama and upheaval. 42-year-old Kenneth McWatt was arrested and charged. Meanwhile, Heidi sought guidance from her pastor. He told her forgiveness is a process. It wasn't until two years later, writing her victim impact statement, Heidi wrote down the words, I forgive you. Finally, at the court appearance, that forgiveness became more than just words on a page. I was told that when I got to the part where I said, as a follower of Christ, I'm compelled to forgive him. McWatt, who sat with his head down the entire time, suddenly looked up with this expression of amazement. McWatt asked to say something. I can't quote it all verbatim, but the gist of it was that he knows he almost killed someone and he wants to change. He said that I was his last hope and now I forgave him. 
He also said that he'd started reading the Bible while in prison this time, and he'd given his life to God. At some point, as I listened to Mick Watts speak, I believe that God honored my intellectual decision to forgive him and made it a reality in my heart as well. Heidi says she no longer feels tied to her attacker. She says she feels free and is even exploring the link between providence and forgiveness in her latest play. Heidi is also working to establish a new certificate program at the U of A in disability ethics, so others may join her in creating a dialogue around disability. For 100 Huntley Street in Edmonton, I'm Megan Kelly.